episode I'm going to see whether Ubuntu 12.04 is still usable in 2019 so apologize for the slow performance I am using the screen recorder um, which is not the usual one I have used before and uh, this one is Kazam screencaster instead of the usual simple screen recorder because 12.04 does not support um, simple screen recorder um, let's start out with the most important category, which is web browser. So Mozilla Firefox web browser, right here, it still works on on this version. Um, however, this is, um, as you can see, the old version of Mozilla Firefox, not the Firefox Quantum version. Um, version 52.0.2. So really not the most up to date but it still does load most websites correctly it, it can load YouTube um, I don't have it set up or anything with YouTube but um, the website does work apologize for the slow Wi-Fi that's just this computer that I'm running this on as slow Wi-Fi um, so it does it does work for YouTube now next up email um, I'm not sure if there's Gmail support in this version of Mozilla, of Mozilla Thunderbird but I don't think there is full Gmail support um, or at least any more um, but let's just go ahead and open it up Thunderbird mail this is the the versions of things for this OS are similar to the versions that you're gonna find on um, you're gonna find on um, Windows XP. Yeah, I think this is like the sim a similar version to the version on Windows XP, the latest version you can run on XP. I believe you can set up Gmail, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, for document editing, we have LibreOffice 3, which is still compatible with the new version of LibreOffice. And honestly, if you can see how fluently I'm using the Unity interface, it's the best. I love the Unity interface. Call me an idiot, but I love it. Um, it's just, and this is the very original versions of Unity. Sadly, Ubuntu 1 doesn't exist anymore, so it's safe enough to unlock for that from the launcher. Um, or it barely exists. I think it still exists as Ubuntu single sign-on, but it doesn't have like five gigabytes of storage or anything like that. Um, you can still view. Um, we can change the wallpaper appearance. Um, this this it still runs faster than it runs a lot faster than the GNOME desktop does, even on new machines. Um, and if you may notice, it only has wallpapers up to 1920 by 1280 in comparison to um, the latest versions which have it like enormous <laughs> the some like 5k resolution I think um, as for the file manager it's a very um, a much older version of Nautilus file manager uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly um, but um, it's it's quite interesting that the wallpaper for the default wallpaper is very similar to the wallpaper of OS X Snow Leopard. Um, there's no way of getting a more up-to-date web browser um, because if we go into the Ubuntu Software Center right here, it um, the you could install Chromium, but that's an even older version of Chromium, um, sadly. Um, and there are no more um, supporting, there's no more support of, um, there's no more support of um, any applications. They're all outdated, every single one except for some probably some really old applications that haven't been updated since then, but it's basically just the Ubuntu Software Center.
And remember, this is an old version of the OS, um, so it, it is going to take a long time. It, it is um, pretty old. Um, the version here, but whatever. Okay, the that that's just because my screen recorder is taking up so much. Um, it doesn't, but this is a really nice choice for an older machine. It doesn't have enough power to run newer versions of Ubuntu, but really, for an older machine, I'd recommend using Lubuntu, um, or for an even older one, Puppy Linux, um, but this is basically just, um, this is the old version, not really much special, but can you still use, now for the verdict, can you still use this OS in 2019? I would say yes, but... I wouldn't recommend it. It's insecure and outdated. Even updating to 14.04 is better than staying on 12.04. Um, but you know, it's 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 still um, a somewhat usable OS for some things. You can still do basic web browsing, email, um, all that. Um, but um, in any case, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.